Hello and welcome to an International Women's Day special. It's just a tea top, but it's International Women's Day and I'm wearing red, so yay! Today I want to talk about the infamous, the terrifying sports bra. <laughs> so today my friend and I we're having a conversation about working out and going to the gym and I was like oh yeah I've been really getting into the gym lately and then she said yeah oh yeah but you know my friend said that she saw you there wearing a sports bra and that got me thinking what an interesting detail to add um, <laughs> I don't know if it's just like an East Coast thing, but um, I feel like a lot of times people such as myself are um, seen as being attention seeking, see seeking or um, just scandalous or slutty. Um, for wearing a sports bra to the gym and I find that concept very interesting um, I wonder if she would have included the same detail if it was a male I've seen men who are shirtless at the gym so I was talking with my male friend about the point I made like and um, he was kind of like yeah well men who are shirtless are kind of looked upon that way too and that's just as bad and and sometimes when I go to the gym and I walk in just wearing a sports bra, I'll see women who are wearing tank tops. Once they see me just wearing a uh, sports bra, they feel enabled to take off their tank tops and exercise in their sports bra because it's more comfortable. But they have to feel enabled by someone to do that. Even like my mother, um, when I go to the gym, um, if I'm wearing a sports bra, she'll ask me to cover up and I, I mean I understand that but at the same time the whole notion that I should have to cover up a non-offensive part of my body so that um, <laughs> other people are more comfortable or other people um, aren't subject to my self-induced objectification, I think is really wrong. And I don't know, I, it's a small thing, but that just makes me want to wear a sports bra even more to the gym. I don't know what people are so afraid of, like, when you see my stomach, like, what, what are you expecting to be there? It's literally a, you know, a little, unless you have like a fear of navels or, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, I just... And a very silly thing to be afraid of. And it's very silly that when I walk into the gym, or when I'm getting dressed for the gym, I even have to like think like, oh, are people gonna be bothered by the way I dress? And um, I don't know, I, I think it would be different if I was going around the gym, you know, like sprawling myself across the machines and like posing myself and like, I don't know, like, you know, actually trying to get attention. But half of the time I'm in the stairwells doing my workout and um, when I'm on the machines, I'm on the machines like anyone else. And, you know, I, I don't really talk to anyone, I keep my earbuds in, and I get my workout done. The sole reason why I started wearing a sports bra to the gym is because it's more comfy for me. And I don't like it when I'm doing, um, like, handstands or whatever, when my shirt comes down and hits me in the face, and I don't like it if I'm sweating a lot, um, for my t-shirt to get all clingy to my body. It's just... It's not comfortable for me, um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I, I kind of wanted to talk about that because I think that's, that's such an interesting thing and I, I know it's probably not just my town, but 
yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm a scandalous gal, I guess, for wearing a sports bra to the gym. Who would have thought? You can have different values for what you want to wear and what you think is acceptable and comfortable, but that does not give you the least bit right to make people feel ashamed for wanting to be comfortable and ready to exercise and proud and confident enough in their body that they are willing to be comfortable in that state. And I think it all comes down to um, being okay with others being different than you and having different levels of confidence, um, of comfort, and um, <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, and expression, and yeah. If you look up women's fitness ad in Google, the first thing you will see is a woman in a sports bra. And um, if people don't think that notion and the model notion of fitness um, isn't what we should consider appropriate, then I feel like you can't win, you know? We're told to look this way, but can't look that way, and if you want to look that way just for comfort, then you're slutty and it's shameful, and then there's just a lot of contradiction, and I think we all need to chill out and just, you know, accept each other for what we are and what we find to be comfortable, and yeah. But anyway, <laughs> main point, if you have a bra, you can wear it. Go you. If you don't want to wear a shirt, that's cool. You're at the gym. Get your workout on, do your thing. I'm going to London in like two days. Oh my god, that's so crazy. This is the first time um, I'm going outside of the United States. That's so crazy. Oh my god. And I'm gonna bring my ukulele and I have to play on the streets for an assignment, but I would anyway. Um, and then I'm also gonna go to Italy and Rome next week, so expect lots of videos. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Um, <laughs> yeah, happy International Women's Day. Give a, whim, a woman in your life a hug. Tell her she's awesome. Um, I know I did. Thank you so much for watching. I love your face. Wear your bras loudly and proudly. Have a great day. Bye.